Okay, Sheriff, could you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you do? I'm Parnell McNamara. I'm a Clinton County Sheriff. Uh, retired from the United States Marshal Service after right at 33 years and so in law enforcement here in Central Texas. So tell us a little bit about the film festival and why it's important to have the film festival here in Waco. Well, Waco is is uh, becoming a hub for so many different activities and uh, I think it would bring a whole lot to Waco and I think Waco has a whole lot to offer uh, the film industry. And so I think it would be a good combination. I really do. What is so unique about McClendon County and the way in the Central Texas area? What do you love about this area? Uh, I grew up here, uh, fifth generation. Goes, my family goes back to the 1870s here. Uh, this year is 119 years that our family's been in law enforcement here in Central Texas. So I love the people. Um, they're wonderful people, uh, close-knit, you know, you know practically everybody here, and it's just a wonderful place to live, a wonderful place to grow up and, and raise your family. You've been the sheriff for a long time. What is, what is the secret sauce to your success? You know, um, I put in uh, right at 33 years with U.S. Marshals as a federal law enforcement officer. What is really cool or good about being sheriff is the people choose the sheriff. The people hire the sheriff. People hired me. And I feel a very, very close bond with all of our citizens. And so I pledge to do everything that I could to make McLennan County a safer place for everybody to live. I've got a great team in there. I'm just one out of many. We've got close to 600 employees now. We've got helicopters, boats, armored vehicles. Uh, we use them all to uh, keep our citizens safe. And so um, I, I have a closeness to all our citizens. And uh, our slogan is, we have two of them, your safety comes first and riding herd on the lawless. And we're going to continue to ride herd on the lawless. So what can the average citizen do to help to support the sheriff's department? Because you not only do patrol, you, you know, you're over the detention center, you're over 911 communications. So what can the average citizen do to help you guys do your job better? Well, for one thing, and that's a great question, I'm glad you asked that. Um, the citizens can be the eyes and ears of law enforcement. We can't be everywhere at once, so we rely on our citizens to help us out. You see something going on, call us immediately. If you think something is going on, let us know about it. And uh, we have a lot of input uh, from the citizens with our cold case unit, which uh, we're investigating murders that happened back in 1980, 1982, that are 40 years old. And we're able to go out of state because of contributions that the citizens give to our cold case unit for airfare, motel rooms. We just had two of our officers get back today from Detroit interviewing people up there that were uh, involved in a murder here in 1980. So the citizens are helping the sheriff's office immensely. We couldn't do the job that we do without the citizens' support that they give us. So you talked about, you know, you have an air support unit, you have boats now. Talk to me about, you know, law enforcement changing over the last 20 years. What has changed about law enforcement? Well, a lot has changed, as you, you can tell, uh, especially when I started in 1970. This is the 51st year that I've been in law enforcement. Last October was, was 50 years, so you think by now I'd have better sense than this, but I'm still in the fight. Uh, technology has helped us a lot. Uh, computer systems, we can track people down. DNA, we're solving crimes that could not have been solved years ago through DNA. You know, fingerprints were about the only thing. If there's no fingerprints, what do you have? Now we've got a DNA uh, database that we can uh, identify people, cold-blooded killers, criminals of all kinds. So technology has helped law enforcement. It's also helped the criminal, unfortunately. Yeah, but you're always, always on the criminal's tail and you always win at the end of the day. Well, time is usually on our side and, and right is on the side of law enforcement. And 
it's living here, being in law enforcement in Central Texas is nothing like being in law enforcement up north where they're attacking the police, they don't respect the police, and it's not all the police's fault. It's we know what it is. It's, it's liberal politicians, and uh, but we have good support here uh, from our citizens and the politicians um, to help us do our job. So, what movies have influenced you in your life? Obviously, the Ten Commandments is one of my favorite movies. Why? And uh, that goes back to the 1950s. Uh, I still watch that. Um, my favorite. Western, two of them, is uh, Tombstone and uh, Lonesome Dove, and uh, then Hell or High Water. I got to work, you know, with Jeff Bridges on that. That was really cool. And my wife and I were invited to the Oscars, so we got to go to L.A. And and uh, anyway, being out there on the red carpet is is really cool. But it's not as cool as being on the red carpet right here in Waco, Texas. I mean, it's such awesome, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It's really cool. And I hope this just keeps on going and going. I'd love to see a lot of filming here in uh, Central Texas. You know, the scene here has changed so much because a lot, you know, front since the 90s, we'll be honest here, when we think of Waco, we think about the Branch Davidians and David Koresh. Right. But now we have Magnolia and we have the Deep in the Heart Film Festival and we have Baylor and so many industries that are moving into this area. Right. It must, you must be, you know, in the evening time, just sit back and be shocked and grateful for all this positive change that's come to this area. Oh, absolutely, because, you know, after the Branch Davidian shootout, everywhere we'd go, people knew we were from Waco, which I'm proud to be from Waco. Oh, do you know Koresh? Yeah, I knew Koresh. I knew what he was, you know, and now people are asking, do you know Chip and Joanna Gaines? Absolutely, you know, and uh, there's so many good things going on here. We've got Baylor University, uh, McLennan Community College, TSTC. There's so many good things going on here, and uh, this is really cool, this film festival. And I hope it keeps going. And if someone wanted to film in McLennan County, who should they contact with in your office to get assistance, whether it be law enforcement assistance or consulting? Call me. I'll get it done. Absolutely. We'll be there to help you all whatever you need. And uh, another one of my favorite movies is Wind River. Why? Uh, it's just a good story. It, it's a good mystery. Uh, Taylor Sheridan is my cousin. You know, he produces Yellowstone and all that. So I'm in constant contact with him. And uh, I just love the Western movies of all kinds. You know, when you're at home, you're relaxing on the weekend with your wife, you're watching television, and you see law enforcement on television and movies, what really irks you? What What is the nails on the chalkboard of, you know, stuff, uh, how you guys are portrayed in the media? That's it. The way that law enforcement is portrayed in the media. Our guys are out there every single day fighting the criminals, the hardcore killers and all. I don't know any law enforcement officer that puts a badge and a gun on in the morning and wants to go to work and hurt somebody or kill somebody. I don't know that. You know, you've got lots and lots of law enforcement officers. Are you going to get a bad egg every once in a while? Yeah, you are. But you're going to get a bad doctor. You're going to get a bad lawyer at a, at a big pool. So that's what bothers me so bad is to see all law enforcement, you know, lumped into one bad basket. Um, there's been a hundred and some odd police officers that have been murdered since the first of the year. You know, nobody's yeah. marching for those guys. They had families, wives, kids, and all that. It's very sad. They were doing a job, you know. We go to the sound of the firing, sound of the shooting, other people break and run. And so a lot of times law enforcement gets gunned down. I can't believe that the mayors and the governors of these northern cities are allowing the police officers to be stoned, harassed, beat up, shot, killed. I can't believe it. And just come down to Texas because these brave men are wanted by your departments. Absolutely. Come on down to Texas. We, if the scumbags want to come down here and hide in Texas, I hope they do because we're going to hunt them down. 
We're going to find them. We'll throw them in jail, stack them in there like cardboard. I really do appreciate it, Sheriff. Thank Absolutely. you so much appreciate for sharing you. your story.